in a surprise to literally no one, some of the top guys in jiu-jitsu just got handed three-year suspensions from USADA, including Wagner Hocha and Cyborg. The suspensions come after tests in which they had exogenous testosterone and its metabolites in their blood. It's definitely not the worst thing that Wagner and Cyborg have ever done. But man, it would be great if jiu-jitsu would move into the post-steroid era. Do you care that these guys are juicing? Should they be allowed to? Or should organizations go the other way and super crack down on it? Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm just tired of stories like these.